Hi there, I'm very excited to be here today. My name is Liam, and I'm here to teach you about groundwater. Are you ready to be a scientist for the day? All right, perfect. Let's get started with our experiment. I have these tubes, and we are gonna use them to study how water moves underground. First, let's note, on the bottom of each tube are screens. Now, we are gonna put some earth materials. Today, I have some gravel and sand. So, now that we have all our supplies, let's observe what we see in our tubes. What are some differences between gravel and sand? Yes, you're so smart. Gravel is much bigger than sand pebbles. What do you think will happen when I pour water down this tube full of gravel? Do you think the water will come out the bottom of the tube? If you answered yes, how many seconds do you think it will take for all the water to come out the bottom? Let's test it out. We will record how many seconds it takes so you can see if your guess was close. Remember to observe closely where the water is going. One, two, three. Whoa, that was so quick. How close is your prediction? You're the smartest scientists ever. Now, let's look at our sand tube. Do you think if I pour the same amount of water down this tube of sand, the water will come out the bottom too? If you said yes, how many seconds do you think it will take? Do you think it will take less time for the water to come out the bottom or more? Make a prediction how long you think it will take. Well, we are scientists, aren't we? Let's experiment. We will time how long it takes to come out of the bottom. One, two, three. Wow, this is four, so interesting. Five, what do you observe? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is the water 11, ever going to pass through 12, the sand? 13, 14, 15, 16. Yay! It did! What did you observe in the sand tube compared to the gravel tube? Yes, the water did take much longer to pass through, but it did eventually. Could you explain in a sentence how water moved through the sand tube? Some say it moves through the sand, but did it move through the sand grain itself? So, how does it move through the tube again? Yeah, it moves through the spaces. Why do you think it took longer to pass through the sand tube? Would it be easier for water to pass through the gravel? Exactly. The gravel has bigger spaces for the water to travel. The sand has much smaller spaces, so it takes water much longer to travel through the tube and come out the bottom. Now, let's really think. We know water traveled down the tubes, through the spaces around the gravel and sand, and out the bottom. What great force do you think brought this water down the tubes? Yes, gravity. Thank goodness you've been here to help me out. Thanks so much for helping me out today. You are the best Yay! scientist. So what have we learned from our experiment today? Water travels through spaces between gravel and sand and other earth materials. Water travels faster through the tube filled with gravel due to larger spaces. 
gravity is pulling water down through spaces between gravel and sand. In the next video, we'll explore a groundwater model for more fun learning. I hope to see you there!